What's up everybody, welcome back. In this video, we have to graph x is equal to 3 plus 8y plus 2y squared, and then we have to state the domain and range. So notice that this is a strange looking relation, but notice it almost resembles a quadratic, only if the x and y's were interchanged. So we have x equals 3 plus 8y plus 2y squared. We can actually rewrite that as like x equals 2y squared plus 8y plus 3. So we have to graph this here. So how do we do that? Well, notice that if we interchange the y's and the x in this relation, we would end up with a parabola. So if we do that, we'll have y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. So notice that this is the inverse of this parabola. So if we can first graph the actual parabola, this here, then we can just graph the inverse. Of the parabola. And that would give us this here. So how can we do that? Well, let's uh, first take this parabola and let's put it into vertex form. So we got y is equal to 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. Uh, let's complete the square on this. So take out a 2, so we'd have x squared plus 4x plus 3. Half of 4 is 2, squared is 4, is, uh, again, so plus 4 minus 4, so we plus 3. And then we could take out this minus 4 from the bracket. Minus 4 times 2 gives us negative 8. This is plus 3. This would end up being x plus 2 squared. Minus 8 plus 3 gives us negative 5. So this here is the vertex form of 2x squared plus 8x plus 3. So, um, yeah, let's actually rewrite this up here. Like that. And then if we want to graph this, let's make a table of values. So, if we make a table of values, we want to put the vertex in the middle. What's the vertex here? It's negative 2 and uh, negative 5. So that would go in the middle. So we'd have negative 1 and 0 and then we'd have, or actually to the left of negative 2 is uh, negative 3, negative 4, and then we'd have negative 1 and 0. So if we plug in negative 4 for this x value, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, times 2 gives us 8, 8 minus 5 gives us positive 3. Plugging in negative 3 here, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, squared is 1 times 2, minus 5 gives us negative 3, and then negative 1, that would be positive 1 squared times 2, minus 5 gives us negative 3, and then 0, 4, 8, minus 5 gives us positive 3. So notice it's nice and symmetrical. So we can uh, graph this here. Uh, let me think about how to set this up. It's probably best to set it up like that. So we'd have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So negative 4 and positive 3, that is up here. Negative 3 and negative 3, that is down here. Negative 2 and negative 5, it's down here. Negative 1, negative 3 is over here. And then 0 and 3, that is up here. So this parabola looks something like this. All right. 
So that's that. And then we have the table, we have the parabola. This here is going to be the inverse of this because the x and y's are just interchanged. So writing out x equals 2y squared plus 8y plus 3. Uh, the table of values, uh, let's actually write this up here further up. x equals 2y squared plus 8y plus 3. The table for it because this is the inverse of that, it's just going to be this table, but the x and y values interchange. So we're going to have 3, negative 4, negative 3, negative 3, negative 5, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, and 3, and 0, like that. So we can uh, now graph this. So the y values are all negative. Um, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Three and uh, negative four over here negative 3 and negative 3, that is over here. Negative 5, negative 2, that's like here. Negative 3 and negative 1, that's like here. And then 3 and 0 is like here. So graphing this out looks like that. So that is the graph of this. Right, so first we graphed the parabola. We interchange the x and y's, graph the parabola, and now this is the inverse of that. So we sort of made, uh, we rearranged the question. We sort of made our own question, graph the parabola and then graph the inverse. But this is the answer to the question. Now what's the domain? And range of this going to be. We didn't state the domain and range of the parabola because we didn't need to. We have to state the domain and range of this, uh, the actual inverse. So notice that the domain is x can be anything, but x has to be greater than or equal to negative 5. All the x values have to be greater than or equal to negative 5. And the range is y er. y can be anything. Right? So that's the graph of this, and then that's the domain and range.